The destruction is still clear weeks after Cyclone Isla hit the Sundarbans. Houses were destroyed or badly damaged. Fresh water ponds used for fish farming and paddy fields were inundated with salt water, affecting people's livelihoods. Mother of three, Safali Mandal, has repaired her home, but the family pond was inundated with seawater, killing more than 100 fish that they'd farmed and relied on for their main source of income. We thought we would actually die. We just rushed out and left the house. The water levels came up this high, near the roof of the house. We didn't have time to take anything from the house, and now we don't have anything to eat. Many of Safali's neighbours in Kusumtala village on Musimi Island, about 140 kilometres from Calcutta, have left the latest wave of climate migrants. But that's not an option for 35-year-old Noor Begum, whose family are landless. Their home was swept away by Cyclone Isla, and they've built a makeshift shelter on higher ground, a short stroll away. What can we worry about? We don't have money or anywhere to go. How can we move anywhere else? If something like this happens again, we'll work out what to do then. We have nothing now, so we can't make any plans. Aid agency Oxfam is working in some of the worst hit villages in the Sundarbans, targeting help for 10,000 households. It's providing basic hygiene kits, emergency shelter materials and ensuring communities get access to safe drinking water. But scientists warn that changing weather patterns are likely to mean that in the future, cyclones are set to become more powerful and destructive, putting more people at increased risk. Thirteen islands in the Sundarbans are thought to be in danger because of climate change. Sea levels are rising faster than the global average. Cyclonic intensity in the Bay of Bengal has also increased by 26% over the past century, says Professor Shugata Hazra, director of the School of Oceanographic Studies at Jadapur University in Calcutta. Around 70,000 people will have to migrate because they will lose their habitat permanently because of sea level rise and coastal erosion and about a quarter of a million people will be affected in some way or other by loss of livelihood, loss of their agricultural land, by the cyclonic surges and salinization and other impacts of climate change. The island of Goramara has lost about half of its land mass over the last few decades, forcing around half of its population to migrate in search of safety. New embankments are being built to try to slow down the erosion, which is exacerbated by the effects of global warming and rising sea levels. But labourer Devon Padura says it's only delaying the inevitable. The way the river is coming ahead, we don't have any other option but to leave in the next three, four years. We'll have to go and settle wherever we find a place. It might be near a road or somewhere else, but we will have to leave. Villagers are trying to do what they can to protect themselves, building new defence barriers against tidal surges. Many blame deforestation for changing weather patterns and higher temperatures, while the loss of mangroves, natural buffers against tropical storms, are also increasing the vulnerability of communities. Mother of four, Riva Sit, lost her house during Cyclone Isla. The family's farming land disappeared into the river years before because of coastal erosion. The waters will rise and the land will go. We are poor people. We don't know what to do. We'll probably die because we won't have anything to eat. That's the situation here. Breached embankments are being quickly repaired, but it might not be enough to protect the poor and marginalised communities living here who've already felt the impact of global climate change and are the least able to protect themselves. Teacher Satyabrata Tripathi has this plea. We can request the rich countries, uh, so we have a message uh, to them, please protect us, something like <laughs> SOS, please protect us with the uh, technical equipment and any necessary things and assistance, what is necessary for us.